Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Getting those last minute Christmas sales. So just because it's only a week to go until Christmas, it doesn't mean that you can't make any more sales now. In fact, if you've got a digital offering, something that's online and that can be instantly accessed via an email, you can be making sales right up until Christmas Day. For those people who have forgotten that gift, who are so unorganized, they wait until the last minute. You know the ones that are always rushing out on Christmas Eve. If you can cater to them, you can still make sales. And digital gifts are very much a thing now. It is not unusual to gift something that is accessible digitally, that needs to be transferred via an email. So if you have something that can be done that way, you can make sales right up until Christmas Day. There is no reason not to. So don't take your foot off the gas when it comes to your marketing. Keep going because you will reach those last minute disorganized people or the ones who have forgotten someone off their Christmas list. So you can do this for patterns. You can do this for gift vouchers. You can do this for online courses. You can keep offering things. And even if you are selling something physical, like a crochet kit, if you offer local pickup, you can still get last minute sales. It just means being very targeted in what you're promoting. So at this point, you should only be promoting what you can still deliver before Christmas. So the digital stuff, if you offer local pickup, then you should only really be promoting yourself in local groups, um, local sales boards. If you are going for this, then think about how you deliver that online um, message with the uh, link in it. Make it Christmas themed so it feels Christmassy and not just something you could have at any time of year. You can create um, a message, a banner in Canva, and upload it into your email provider so that it's got a Christmassy feel to it. Get the holly, the tinsel, the baubles on this picture so and make sure the message is Christmas themed. And it just helps give that Christmas vibe. And you can show your template on your social media because don't forget, people want their gifts to feel Christmassy as well. So they'll appreciate that extra effort to make it feel Christmassy, even though it's just an email promote how that looks on social media and it will make them think, ah, that looks like a Christmas gift. It will help. Um, it will help push through that buying decision because just because it's an email, just because it's an online offer, it doesn't mean you can't go that extra mile to help have that Christmassy vibe to it. And your customers and the person who's being, is being gifted to will appreciate that extra effort. And it doesn't take long to create these things in Canva. It's it's fairly easy to do. And once it's set up, you use it for all of them. Now, when you are offering gift vouchers or online codes, you need to make sure that you are tracking them. Okay, so you don't want to be used several times by accident. These days we have these... um, apps that can go searching for online codes for discounts. So you need to make sure it's a one-time code that you're using. You can set these up fairly easily. Um, You can set up coupon codes in Etsy and Ravelry. And most um, sites that offer, that that you upload your digital items to, allow you to have discount codes that you can make one time or have a very limited use. 
You can be make it very specific to an email. There are ways and means of making sure that these apps that go searching for these discount codes don't target you and that you end up losing money. So make sure you look into that with your online provider. So you don't need to be afraid of these codes getting out. You just need to go into the back end of your systems and go find it. It'll be in there. There'll be something in there that will help you do this. Okay, so don't be afraid of having this online offering because it will help you get those last minute sales. You just need a template in Canva that you can upload to your email and it's fairly easy to make it happen. And a lot of these sites, you can actually do it automatically, which means you don't need to be sat at your computer up until Christmas day. You don't. You can set it and forget it. And I'm a big fan of this. I prefer my entire sales process to be as automated as possible. So you can do this. And if you haven't got the tech figured out, don't worry about it. Just don't offer it. Work until you want to. Just because you can be making sales up until Christmas Day, if you have to be physically present to do that, don't do it. You take the time off that you want. This is your business. You get to run it your way. You get to shut down your shop when you want to, when it's time for you to do so. Don't let the pressure of what everyone else is doing impact your ability to take time off. So yes, you can still be getting last minute Christmas sales if that's what you want to do. And there are ways and means of doing so, but it doesn't mean you have to. So if you want to keep pushing your sales, if you need to make that extra income come in, these are your options. If you don't need to, don't want to, don't do it. Run your business your way. But if you do want to, then physical products, make sure you're in those local groups. Make sure that you are only promoting what you can still deliver. There is no point right now of keep advertising things that cannot be delivered for Christmas because you're going to end up with kind of irate customers who will say, well, why are you advertising this for Christmas when you cannot get it to me? They'll be annoyed and that can make them avoid you in the future. So if you've got anything kind of automatically being promoted through scheduling, make sure you take out anything that can no longer be delivered on time. Make sure that you are only promoting what you can definitely deliver. If you have a shutdown date, make sure that is on your social media and you are on, in your newsletters and telling people this is the last date to order. If it's a staggered shutdown, as in I can deliver X by the 21st, but then no further, but I can still offer Y to be delivered by the 23rd, make sure you're telling people this. You've got to be specific. Make sure everyone knows what your availability is, when you are completely shutting down, what you can still offer after a certain date. It might feel like it's kind of a lot of information and you are repeating yourself over and over. But you do need to do that because people who have forgotten last minute Christmas gifts kind of panic. And they may end up ordering something not realizing it's not due until after Christmas, after New Year, and they're going to get upset. You're going to get demands for refunds if that happens. So making sure you have this information very obvious and available is going to help you in the long run. Because there's no point making sales if you end up having to refund because, you know, a panicking Christmas shopper didn't realize they weren't going to get it in time. A sale that you need to refund is not a sale. It's a pain. It's an annoyance and an irritation and something you're, you've got to deal with. You don't want more issues to be dealing with in this time of year. It's just one headache you don't need. 
So make sure you are repeating the information about what you have available, what can be delivered in time for Christmas and what can't. You might need to post this several times over the next week. You should definitely have a pinned post about it on Facebook. Um, if you have a, a shop on another site, put an announcement on it. You might even think of changing your listing descriptions temporarily to include if this what you offer can still be delivered at Christmas or not. Put it in bold at the top of the listing. You know, it's easy to put in and it's easy to take out after Christmas, but it just helps reassure people that they can still get things on time. It stops people from making silly buying decisions that you will need to refund later. Having the information as clear as possible in as many places as possible is going to help you. It will help you make more sales and it will help you avoid having to issue refunds because panicking shoppers didn't think. You've got to spell it out and make it obvious. So this type of information is not going to stop you making any money. It's going to help you because people will be grateful for the information when they are desperately trying to find something that can they can get to their loved one in time. So, yes, you can absolutely still make Christmas sales last minute. If you don't want to, don't push it. Just shut down. Walk away. Enjoy your Christmas with your family and don't think twice about it. But if you have something that is online and that you can set up that's automated to be delivered, you can set it and forget it. You can set it and go off for your holiday and still know that you are making a profit and your customers are happy. But you do need to make sure the information is available to your customers. You do need to make sure that you're only promoting what can still be delivered and make sure you're promoting in the right places. Because if you will have something that can only be delivered in person and you can only get it out locally because it's too late to post, there is no point emailing your list about that because they can be scattered all over the country, even internationally. You should be concentrating on local groups. Again, there's no real point posting on your page unless you can unless your audience is all very local. So you may need to branch out from your own social media and get into local groups only if you're going to do that. But if you are offering something that's online, gift vouchers, courses, patterns, anything that can be given as a a voucher code, um, or just needs kind of online access that can be delivered through an email. If you can automate that, if you have that in your um, as part of your offering, you can make sales right up until Christmas Day. But don't think that means you've got to be online in your business until Christmas Day. You don't. How you do this is up to you. But go and check out what your um, um, shopping site allows you to do with coupon codes. See if you could connect that to your email and set up something automatically. Because that is well worth the effort if you can do that. Because you'll keep making sales. So I hope that's given you something to think about. And as always, any questions, please do come to our Facebook group. Our free community is there for you to ask questions and get answers. The link is in the show notes. So thank you for joining me. Have a fantastic Christmas and I shall see you for the next episode. Bye for now.